Hey everybody, welcome back to some more ActRaiser, and I'll be your host for this evening, The Reasonable Gamer. So last time uh, we went ahead and built up this city, and you know, I had some weird edits and stuff here, but I went ahead and fixed this little patch here, and there'll be some other small funky things that happen, but we're, we can just roll with them, right, and I'll, I'll tell you what, what those are when they pop up. It's really not that big of a deal, okay? So what do we do? We want to get in this hole here, you know, the one with the gaping mouth that looks rather not inviting at all. So, oh, that's our wrong button. So we go, we have to return to the Sky Palace because in order to go down, you have to go up first, okay? And then we want to fight monsters because there's monsters in the hole. People no longer be scared of yields. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. May luck be with you. And then you swan dive into the hole. You can't just float down. Nope, you have to swan dive, just like you did before. Okay, fine. That's fine. So anytime you want to go into the ground to fight monsters, you have to go up into the air first, and then swan dive down. Okay. And this looks like a cool cave. I love this thing. It's all dark and sinister. Yeah. Makes you really feel noble. Just awesome. All right, knife guys. I hate those guys. So basically, they they throw knives at you, obviously. Yeah. Um, but if you don't time it right, they get you in this weird loop, and it's just not fun. Okay, so when you get here, go to the right. I know it looks like a big old pit, and you don't want to go that way. You do. You want to go this way. Make a big jump here. Secret apple. Why would you hide a apple in a, in a cave like this? I don't know. Just go with it. Just go with it. It's just a game. Just go with it. Alright. Watch the spikes. Oh, well, see, that's what I mean. The stupid daggers and stuff are going everywhere. Gosh. Alright, those are little skull shooting guys. No big deal. You do want to go this way first. Get the thousand points. One thousand points. And then over here is your one up. Which means you can jump in this pit over here and die. Yay! First, get that knife guy because you know me and knife guys, we don't play along well. Okay. So, there you go. We've used up our one up and we're, we're ready to move on. Yeah, I know. We've done this before. Fine. I don't think it's that much on, that, you know, we have to backtrack, so you know, we'll be okay. Alright. Oh. He gave me so much trouble that time. I don't know what's going on there. Alright, these guys, if you just go up against them and hammer with the sword, you're not even going to really see their projectiles. So, that's what I recommend doing. Yay! So, yep, just do everything you've already done. Get the apple, everything. Dodge the dagger. Whoa. There. Whoa. I don't know why it hit me that time, didn't hit me the other time. It must have raised my eyebrows or something. Okay. Duck! Eh, it didn't work last time. See, I did the exact same thing all over again. <laughs> and it's these skull fly things. Oh, I tried to get them before. Alright, wait, 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 and hit, go! There we go. A thousand points, and then over here to get the one up. Perfect. Yes! I'm raising the axe, baby! Or whatever. Alright. Let's see if I can just go on. Nope, I gotta fight this guy. And just just wail on him. You should be fine. Alright. While I'm cruising along, I think I'll talk a little bit about my schedule. As you guys notice, there's been like a long stretch of Zombie U, and then all of a sudden, Act Razor. Long stretch of Zombie U, and then all of a sudden, Act Razor. Well, for those new to my channel, what I like to do is I like to, um, I like to do two LPs at once. Usually, Friday will be like my second LP for a while, and then um, um, the first LP will end, and then Friday will become my main, and then I switch days. And you know, Friday is basically the trout for my my new LP. Okay, I'm actually gonna try something different. Every Friday, what I want to do is I want to play some sort of retro game. Friday is going to be my upload time for retro games such as da -da -da -da, Act Razor. Um, so if you are one of those people who love retro games, 
then I recommend looking for uh, retro games on my channel every Friday. And we're, we're going to see how that goes. Okay? Okay, so you get up the stairs and all of a sudden you're in this room without stairs. And you fight this giant beefy guy. Haha, <laughs> pun beef, he's a minotaur. And basically you move out of the way when he falls. And then you just keep spamming your sword. You have much more life than he does. Yay. You can try and dodge and whatever, but pfft, whatever. It doesn't matter that much. <laughs> and that will do it for Act 2. And look at all them points. Look at that. Woo! That means I'm going to have so many followers, so many, so many people begging to kiss my feet. Look at, look at all them people outside begging to kiss my feet. Yes, they love Jeebus. So, Master, Fillmore is now rid of all monsters. Um, sadly, one person was afflicted by the monster's curse and has just passed away. So, in other words, you were too late. You stuck. But you know what? He was finally able to be of some help to the people of Fillmore. Mm hmm So, me, my godly self, could not help this guy in time. Um, but I guess people are still praising me. So, great. And this is the part where I was talking about this. I've already got these scrolls um, in the first video, but because of the weird um, recording and editing stuff, I'm going to get some of the same stuff that I've already gotten. So we're just going to kind of zip through this a little bit. The fisherman with the boat. Okay. Hey, where'd all my followers go? Where'd they go? Okay. Oh, well, I guess they're, they're praying to me in the, in the shrine or whatever. So now if you wait long enough... You'll have people um, to start building the city some more. And if you got a good score on um, Act 2 and Act 1 as well, um, you'll get more and more people building. And then I think, you know, you'll get up to a little bit over 900 if you wait long enough. Um, I recommend doing it because obviously it'll increase your levels and your chance of leveling and blah, 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 blah before you go on with the game. But, I also recommend you take an offering. And they're going to be like, oh, we have so many offerings. What do you want? Um, this is the thing that we found under the rock. Um, I don't remember if I did this in the last video, but they'll be like, oh, yeah, you should lightning bolt and smash the rock. This is the fire we found underneath it. So, uh, since we don't know how to use magic, you should have it. <laughs> and then, okay, great, I'll take it. And then we had the source of magics. Um, basically it just tells you what it is there. It's an MP. So, yeah. I find that I don't really need magic in this game very much until I get to the near the end game. And I'll explain that later. Here's the, uh, the uh, arrows we found. Um, if you take it, you don't really use it now. And uh, this is the statue we found earlier in the first video. Um... All flying monsters will be destroyed if you use it, so... If you're having troubles with flying monsters during the, the angel stage, that'll help. And I don't know how this works, but you take the bridge building technique. <laughs> you don't take a bridge, you take the bi bridge building technique. And then you can give this bridge building technique to somebody else. You can't do it as a god, no. You need to actually take it from the citizens and then give it to somebody else. So, in other words, you're pretty powerless without people. Which I think is kind of interesting because normally you would think a god is very powerful regardless of people. Not in this game, no. You, people are, are crucial here. Okay? Man. So, you remember that. Jeebus needs his people. Oops. Uh, see, I'm pushing the wrong buttons all the time. There we go. Wrong button. There we are. All right. Uh, so let's see. What did I talk about? Here? Up, upload schedule. Talked about some killed the Minotaur. Oh, um, notice also the hole is gone. I guess after you kill the Minotaur, they um, patch up the hole. So it no longer bothers them anymore. I guess. I, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, and and of yeah, I, it's weird. It's also kind of weird that remember the 
the uh, crap fields that were out here, they're all gone. They've been replaced with buildings. So apparently these people don't need any food. <laughs> Whatever, right? Okay, so that's pretty much it for this episode. Next episode, we're going to go to the next town. And I'm also going to show you, by the way, the 906 in the upper right corner is the cap for this town. Um, I'm also going to show you in the next video that this number will change a little bit. Um, for some reason, when you move to one town, from one town to another, um, it'll ramp up the population a little bit at some times. Um, and uh, you probably will never see Fillmore ever again. Yay! So thanks for watching, everybody. I really do appreciate it. And um, remember, classic games every Friday. Thank you. See you then. Bye-bye.